Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how to upload a file in Test Trigger. Okay, so in the previous lectures, we have seen how to do a basic activity, type, click, and select values, right? So file uploading part is little tricky sometimes for the different automation tools, right? But with Test Trigger, it's very straightforward. So in this lecture, I will show you how to upload a file. So let's take example. So suppose you have a file uploader, something like this, okay, where you have to select a file and you have to click on upload. So the moment you upload any file, it will give you that file uploaded successfully, some messages. In case something went wrong, it will give you error messages. So how we can upload a file here, let's see. So for this, I'm going to create a new test case. You can modify the existing test case as well, uh, but I'm going to create a new test case for this. And I will give this test case name is file upload. Okay, you can give any name. Uh, it is just basically this test is intentionally for file uploading. So I'm giving the file upload part. Now, there's a small part that you need to keep in mind. Uh, so maybe I will first close this. Right now, our test feed is focusing on this particular URL, right? But right now, I have to use this particular URL. So the moment I start writing test cases, by default, it will take this URL, but I want to make this particular URL or I want to start my application with this. So what I can do, either I can go ahead and modify this URL, but it's going to affect all the test cases. So you have two options. Uh, either you go ahead, create a new test suite for this, or you can use one more command called open URL. Okay. So if I show you this official documentation, test trigger official documentation. We also have one command called open URL. So whatever URL you will pass here, it will start that particular URL and then you can continue. So your test will start actually with this URL first, which is orange HRM, which I will show you now. So the first step, it will lo launch this particular URL. Then using this open URL, we will load this application and we will continue, right? So you have two options. Go ahead with any of this. I will go with this open URL so that we can cover one more command, right? So let's go ahead and create a new test case. Again, I will give the same thing, file upload. And now let me open this particular URL and the command that I'm going to use is open URL, okay? So I will write open URL and again, I will pass the URL in double quotes. One thing that you need to keep in mind that whatever application you're passing, right, that should be whitelisted. If that is not whitelisted, again, test trigger will not be open, will not be able to open that particular URL. Okay. So if you see this part, it says the domain must be whitelisted. Okay. Now let's continue. Now, if you talk about this file, right, right now, if I have to select any file, I will click on choose file and have to select which file I want to upload, right? Now, in order to do something like this, we have to create one test data. Okay. So in the previous lectures, we have already seen right how to create a test data. So what I will do, I will show you uh, how to create test data. So basically, instead of storing value, we will be storing our file in the test data section. Okay. So in the test data, you have an option where you can create test data in a file format, and you can upload any file, that file you can pass in your test. So if I click on the test data again, in the previous lectures, we have created two variables, right? Username and password. So this time I will create one more variable. So if I click on add, it will ask which type of variable you want to create. So we have seen this part, right? Text and hidden. This time we are going to select a file and you can give any variable name. Make sure whatever variable name you are giving here, same we have to use in our test case. So I will use, uh, let's say this is a profile pic. You can give any variable name. It is just for your reference. You can give a sample or any other name. Then I have to select which file you want to upload. So I will click on select file and I will pick any random file which I want to upload. So let me take this PNG file, which is uh, one webinar, which is uh, at my desktop and let me click on add. Now, as usual, we will type enter stored values. So we have seen in the previous videos, right? How to get the values from the stored variables. So we will use stored values. So I will say enter stored values. Now we have to give the exact variable name that we have created. 
So we have created this profile pic, right? So I'm going to copy this and I will use the same here into then if you just see if you just right click on this particular part if you uh, inspect this so basically it's the input tag right and you can see id equal to file upload so i'm going to use the same i will take this id again i will type into uh, input file and i will give this file upload okay so i will repeat this again enter what we need to enter this is the enter store uh, stored value profile fix so it was going to take the path into input file and this is the id file upload then we have to click and upload right so once you upload the file uh, so if i show you this part let me select a file then i have to click on upload and once i will upload if everything works fine we will get one message called file uploaded so this is what we will do we will just say click on upload so click on upload okay yeah so this is the button right upload click on upload after uploading what text we got so if i click on upload again if everything works fine we will be getting this text called file uploaded right so we'll quickly verify this because we need to also do the verification in case something went wrong our test case should fail so i'm going to quickly verify this text called file uploaded and we have seen the page level validation right so i will say check that page contains and this is the text which i'm expecting okay if you just say file uploaded that is also fine so the main part is this part okay the second line so first we are opening that application then we are getting that file from that variable into this particular input file then we are clicking on upload then we are checking this should be file uploaded so let's click on add and run it will take few seconds and our test should get executed okay perfect so as you can see the test executed and if i show the screenshots let me click on this and let me enlarge this as well so this was the base url okay so that's the reason it is opening orange hrm and if you follow the next test cases sorry next screenshots yeah so this is where it started so it loaded that particular url then it has uploaded that webinar.png then it is clicking on this upload right and after upload it is able to verify file uploaded so you can see this green symbol it means the validation was correct and everything is working fine right now if you want to see that uh, what if i don't pass any file right in that case let me just remove this part okay maybe i will save it somewhere and this time i'm opening that particular application i'm not uploading any file then i will click on upload obviously now it will give me some different message right that i have to validate but still i will check without uploading any file if i click on upload will i get this message let's see so again i will say up, uh, update and retest and our test executed so this is the base url now if i show you from here it started with this this time we have not selected any file and if we click on upload we are getting this internal server error okay and good part about test trigger is it is actually showing you that this was the old one okay before uh, before running this test case this was the actual uh, execution and this time since we have removed that particular statement we are getting internal server error so this is how test trigger can help you that what went wrong while executing this time this time again if i go back and if i upload that particular statement update and retest retest should work Okay, as you can see, the test has been executed successfully and we are getting success. Okay, so just a quick recap. In order to upload any file in your test case using test trigger, first you have to create a test data. You can create a variable and the type you can select a file, upload any file that you want to upload in your test cases. Go back to your test cases and if you face any issue, you can refer their documentation. It's very easy. So you can see they have a dedicated section called uploading file and exactly what i have mentioned you will find here 
So once your file has been uh, uploaded in the variable part, come back to your test cases. Use enter stored value, whatever values you have, uh, whatever variable name you have used. Then into input file and where exactly you want to upload a file. Click on upload and you can verify. Okay, that's all from my side. In case this video helped you, then do support this channel, share with your friends, colleague and do subscribe this channel and, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.